Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, I hope you're having a really good day. Uh, in this video, it's a really straightforward unboxing video for the Elgato Stream Deck XL. For those of you that don't know, the Elgato Stream Deck was released in uh, May of 2017. I wouldn't quite say it's revolutionised streaming uh, in that period of time, but it certainly made streaming a little bit more accessible and a little bit slicker and certainly raised the bar on the quality that you can attain within your own streams. Uh, and also there are a lot of other non-streaming based uses for the Elgato Stream Deck. For instance, quite a lot of people tend to use it for speeding up photography editing and things like that. So I'd been streaming for around about three or so months uh, before I decided to get an Elgato Stream Deck. And the reason why I got it was purely a quality of life thing, really. You can get by very well without a Stream Deck. It's very much something that makes your life a lot easier whilst you're streaming you can use hotkeys and things like that within various streaming software and, and we're talking here about uh, sort of Streamlabs, OBS and various other things like that uh, however the stream deck does allow a lot more of a depth of integrations with loads of different programs uh, and macros and things like that there's quite a lot more you can do with the stream deck that you would not be able to do uh, with a stream but a lot of these things again very much are quality of life type of things I decided to get one after I've been streaming just for three months and I actually used uh, my Twitch revenue money to purchase it. So it was a really nice thing for me to do is the stream paid for a stream improvement, sort of reinvesting in the in the stream. And it's definitely, I think, improved my confidence as far as streaming is concerned. If you're considering this purchase and you are on a budget, I would probably recommend not buying it and holding off and instead looking at key binds and hotkeys that you can integrate with most of the different softwares for most of the key things that you'll be doing, such as switching sources. So it comes in three sizes, the Elgato Stream Deck Mini, the standard and also the XL uh, and they are in 6, 15 and 32 buttons respectively. You don't need any particularly special ha hardware or software to run the Stream Deck. It's basically a plug and play device and within the unboxing video here I will explain how easy it is to actually set up on your PC or laptop. I've done quite a few different videos since purchasing this for example, how to set up wallpaper buttons, adding GIFs to your Stream Deck and various integrations for your Stream Deck. Feel free to check out those videos in my Stream Deck playlist. I'd be really interested to know how you guys actually use the Stream Deck because there's always new things that you can do with the Stream Deck. Please do feel free to leave comments below and let me know how you are using the Stream Deck. If you do find this useful, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It definitely helps me and also the visibility of this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel as well, I do loads of different Stream Deck videos and other streaming videos. If you want to ask me any questions at all or you simply want to see this uh, Stream Deck in action on my stream, I stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Let's get into the unboxing. So... Initially, when you get the box through in the post or if you buy it in a shop somewhere, there's no frills really with the box. It's, it's quite well made, but nothing special. You're not going to open this and feel overwhelmed by their packaging. We're not talking about Apple products here. Uh, but equally, you can tell they've made some effort on the packaging as well. The design's quite nice. It feels like it's a solid box. It's not going to get damaged in the post, I don't think. The box dimensions are roughly... 12 centimeters by 15 centimeters by 25 centimeters. I was actually quite surprised at how small the box was. I was expecting the Stream Deck to be a lot bigger than it actually is. Back of the box has a little bit of detail, just a flavor for the software compatibility. You can see there it's compatible with XSplit, Twitch, YouTube. It integrates with loads of different things. But to be honest, the information on the back of the box doesn't really scratch the surface of all the integrations that you can do I guess it's just trying to give you the confidence before you even open the box uh, particularly if you've not bought this yet and you're looking at this in a shop that it's got a very wide variety of integrations that you can be used the things listed here specifically are other obviously other elgato products obs twitter youtube twitch x split streamlabs mixer which is obviously now defunct <laughs> the box itself weighs roughly three kilos in weight uh, definitely felt a lot heavier uh, than I expected. So now we get into the actual un unboxing itself. So anyway, you've got the manual on top sitting quite tidily. There's quite a sturdy insert for it. The Stream Deck itself comes in like a fabric sheath and there's not much else to it. There's a small kind of help uh, guide thing, which is more about electricals and, and stuff like that. The insert can just pop out quite easily. Not with one hand though. <laughs> Here's just a view of all the different components that come within the unbox. Very, very straightforward. I've not tried to overcomplicate this at all. Definitely props to Elgato for not trying to reinvent the wheel here. Now we get into the Stream Deck itself. 
It detaches magnetically from the fixed plastic base. It's quite a chunky panel that you can detach from it, which gives me some confidence because if you ever happen to drop it or spill something on it or whatever, I feel like it would fare pretty well. You see on the bottom there's like a film that you can remove, which will reveal some sort of rubber underneath it, which just helps with the grip of the base and stand. The nice Elgato logo on the back. And this, in, in size, it's probably 17 centimeters uh, wide by around about 10 centimeters deep. I'm unboxing here the 32 button version, and obviously you can get the 15 and the six button version of this, as mentioned earlier. Here's just a quick manual scroll through. They've not really done a great deal, because to be honest, most of the magic that happens here is within the software, which I'll briefly show. You do need to visit the Elgato website to download all of the software for this, which downloads the most recent firmwares and updates and integrations. I'll drop a link below for that. Without going into a great deal of detail here, um, I did think that the software itself is very, very intuitive. It's just very easy to use. Although I've done quite a lot of tutorial videos on Stream Decks and feel free to browse them, to be honest, people who've got even a, a low to mid-level experience with software is probably gonna be able to do quite a lot of things with this straight out of the gate. So you're able to go to elgato.com uh, forward slash en forward slash game forward slash downloads. You can select the product that you have. Uh, I think the software is the same for all three with the Stream Deck. Uh, I'll just click the Excel version, compatible with Mac and Windows. I'll select Windows uh, and literally you download the most recent version from their website. Pretty standard practice these days. There's a version history you can click on here. When that's downloaded, it's a quite it's a straightforward install. Nothing too complicated and the file size isn't too big either. It seems to be quite a well built piece of software. Just to give you a very quick flavor of what that software looks like, here it is. With my Stream Deck, I made a wallpaper here. There's a, a video on how you can do this in my Stream Deck playlist. That particular button there is a folder button where all the rest of them are just hotkeys that don't have anything assigned. So that's just an aesthetically pleasing top level. I've got a Streamlabs OBS integration and a Streamlabs Online integration. They do various things, sources uh, and things like that. And then Streamlabs Online for alerts. I've obviously got some Twitch integrations here because I stream on Twitch. Some reactions, some GIFs type, and then some more kind of useful stuff like, you know, how many viewers you've got, turning on emote only chat, or even just a list of different ads that I can run, things like that. I've got an integration with Google. This is just a web launcher. I've got an integration with QSync, which uh, synchronizes with the lights in my streaming room. It turns this on or changes the colors. As it happens, I've also given my viewers a channel points reward where they can change the lights in my stream room just helping myself to connect with the viewers a little bit more i've decided to put some bitcoin prices and also the price of the pound to the dollar we've got a voice mod integration with various voice mod stuff and that's all i've done so far other than spotify this is a picture and these are all the different buttons to skip change volume that kind of thing another cool thing that you do get if you go to elgato.com forward slash en forward slash game forward slash E creator link in the description you can also compose button icons so i've got to have got this completely free you can even access this before you've even got the stream deck if you wanted to prepare your buttons before the stream deck arrives and basically you're able to design buttons for your stream deck before the stream deck itself comes it's really intuitive to use it's web-based and you can just download the images or you can add your own images and overlay different icons things like that again i've done some more videos on this sort of stuff so feel free to browse i've not had to contact elgato for support whatsoever but there is support here on uh, on both websites and what both pages in the top right hand corner um i don't know if it's good support or not i've not had a chance to test that Stream Deck also comes with a USB 3 to a USB-C adapter. I found that the wire itself wasn't all too long, so I ended up getting a USB 3 to USB 3 extender, like a male to female extender. Um, if you've got quite a large desk and you have the Stream Deck on the opposite side of your PC, then you may find that there's not enough length on the wire, but the wire itself is a, a good quality wire. It just pops into the little hole there the USB-C and then it feeds through the back of the stand the stand obviously pops off uh, you can choose to not use the back stand at all if you don't want to as you can see with the rubber bits that are on the stream deck panel itself 
The panel itself is pretty lightweight, and as I mentioned earlier, some rubber on the bottom just prevents some slippage. The buttons are really, they feel really nice to touch. Uh, they don't seem to get too dirty. Uh, they're very easy to clean and wipe. It looks very swishy and clean. When the iPhone was first announced by Steve Jobs 2007, he famously said about not having a keypad um, and instead having a screen and you can configure the screen instead of configuring buttons. So there is an argument here to say that maybe the Stream Deck should just be a screen instead of physical buttons. However, what I would say here, because you can have essentially an unlimited folder system within the Stream Deck, I really didn't find and I haven't found so far that the Stream Deck has run out of button space. And actually, I quite like the ability to be able to feel and touch the buttons. It also looks quite cool as well. The Elgato Stream Deck is not cheap really when you consider that it is basically a luxury to have on your stream however most sort of medium to large size streamers do tend to have some form of stream deck whether that be the elgato or something else there are obviously competing products out there for example the max falcon or the touch portal or the up deck i found that the stream deck was just really easy to set up and easy to get going with and to be honest if you're not looking to crack every single nut on your stream in one go if you're happy to make lots of small to medium sized changes with the Stream Deck over the course of time, it's a really good option. What I've chosen to do is to add lots of smaller integrations over the course of time. And as they've bedded into my stream, then add new things. So it's actually kept my stream a little bit fresher as I've been able to add uh, different things over a longer period of time rather than all at once. So that's it for the unboxing video. If you found this useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to ask me any questions whatsoever about the Stream Deck, feel free to jump into my Discord, which I'll link below, uh, or indeed on one of my live streams, and have a lovely day. Thank you.